Well, this lake is definitely bigger. Look at this. This is cool, man. <laughs> awesome. Welcome back everybody to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG and we are going to roll over to lakes right now. Boom, baby. New blueprint received lake water collector. Beautiful. All right. So yeah, we just hit lakes and uh, the next stage is the moss stage. Um, so my expectation is that sometime during this lake stage this is all going to fill up with water and presumably the waterfall uh will start start up from that mountain at least that is the assumption all right so i have been very busy here at the base i'm uh, just getting stuff organized and oh we got a new message too look at that um i wonder too if i was just bringing back an, another load of stuff uh, from one of the places that we had looted earlier. Um, but I wonder if now that we've reached the next level, if that unlocked some more uh, microchips for us. So we're going to check that out in a second. Um, let's see. Titanium goes here. Silicon goes here. Cobalt here. Iridium goes in here and here we still have two more silicon and a couple of aluminum all right so let me show you what we've done here at the base uh basically i took all of these storage chests and i doubled them so we have one we have two chests now per basic ore uh, as you can see all the way down all the way to aluminum there um, this group, this group here and this group here is overflow chest, but they're all empty except for this one, which is indeed overflow. Everything else should be now emptied out. Uh, unless I miss something. Yeah, it looks like they are. Uh, starting here now, we have iridium and then we have iridium 2. We have uranium and uranium 2. We have super alloy and super alloy 2. And then here we have cloth, we have rockets, just because I had, you know, a fair amount of them. This is kind of still just miscellaneous stuff here. A zeolite and pulsar go in there. Osmian and obsidian go in there. Circuit boards go in there. And yeah, so that's the organization for out here. And then if we come into here, I have uh, several chests that are related to the biolab. Uh, with the exception of ice, I didn't kind of know what to do with this because we don't really need ice anymore, but I didn't want to get rid of it. So we just have a nice chest there in case we do need it for something. Uh, I have an iridium chest in here as well because iridium is a part, some of the recipes. Sulfur chest, algae chest when we get to that, bioplastic water because water is also used for some of this stuff. And then just the end products from the biolab. Um, and this is biolab food. So basically... I'm putting the, the lesser food in here, eggplant, mushroom, squash, because all of those things are used in these various recipes here, as you can see, um, to make some of that stuff, okay? Uh, now, over here, I have two chests for food. This one's completely full. That one's sort of kind of full. All of these are beans, so that's our own food that we eat. Everything on this side is the lesser food that we're using for the biolab. Uh, so I have three eggplants, two mushrooms, to uh, squash. Both of these chests contain food seeds. And then these are all uh, the flower seeds that we have, those three. And then this is for tree seeds. And yeah, so that's it. That's the organization. Oh, there's actually one more thing. Um, up above, I do have a small chest that I'm putting blue uh, or microchips in. So let's grab those and see if we can get some more upgrades. Still not? Dude, what the hell, man? It says for now, so that does imply that it'll open up again for us later. Okay. Uh, we did have... 
We did have a couple more things open up off camera. Um, yeah, the flower spreader. Uh, so that's 7.36 seconds. The biodome tier two, which generates tree bark. However, we can't make this quite yet because it requires algae. And um, we can't make algae until we do algae spreaders. Uh, and then of course you guys saw this collects and collects and filters water from water surfaces. Nice. Uh, so you guys saw that pop in when we first started the episode. Um, and I think that's everything that has unlocked as far as blueprints goes. I'm just double checking here to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that gets us caught up on blueprints. Uh, let's take a quick peek here. Is there anything new here? I don't think so. Oh, we do have agility boots tier three that we can do. So we need two supers and an explosive powder. Let's grab two supers out of here. And the other ingredients that we need to make explosive powder are already in the bio lab. That is one iridium and two sulfurs. Let's make that. All right, and then we should be able to go back here and make our tier three agility boots. There we go. Movement speed by 45%. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, so we're moving even faster on foot now. I went and grabbed the second ore extractor that I had over there in the uh, aluminum zone and just brought it over here because it wasn't grabbing aluminum, it was just grabbing basic stuff. So I figured, well, what the hell? Let's just keep it close to the base. Uh, so we got both of those going. All right, I think that gets you pretty much up to date uh, or caught up rather on what I have done off camera. Um, let's see, how much power do we have? Oh yeah, we still have 240 kilowatts. We have tons of power. Um, we have a message. Let's see what that's all about. It's from Riley. Use ore extractors in different areas to extract specific materials. Yeah, like that works. Rockets are really important and help boost your generation of whatever. And then blah, 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 encrypted. See, this still seems to imply that we should be getting aluminum in that area, but, you know, with the ore extractor, but... I saw no evidence of that, and I moved that around a few times, so I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Um, yeah, not really sure. Got some meteorites coming in there. Okay, so our one of our main goals for this episode is to work on biomass. I'd like to put a few more of these grass spreaders down, just so we have more grass around the base, uh, but I think we need to get the algae spreaders in particular going because then that'll give us algae which we need for a lot of the well that thing just landed right outside the door there um which we need for making the next biodome and a lot of other things fertilizer and whatnot uh okay so yeah um let's let's make a couple more grass spreaders first and uh, to do that, we're going to need... Oh, we can make the flower spreaders too, right. Um, and these do uh, quite a bit more biomass than the grass spreaders do. But let's, let's just kind of put these kind of all around our base. So I don't know how many exactly we'll do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do eight of them. So we got eight Lerma seeds. We need eight aluminum. Uh, yeah, there's eight of those. Okay. And then we'll need 16 water. So what is that? That's... um. 10, 11, 12 water. 13, 14, 15, 16. Hey, what do you know? What do you know? All right, let's go ahead and plant some more grass around the base here. Uh, so we'll put a 
grass guy right there. We'll put uh, one right there. One right there. One right there. I'm going to leave the back open because, uh, well, the plan is, you know, to expand the base further that way later on. Come around this side. And let's put a grass spreader right about here. Uh, oh, looks like we need to get some more water. Take that. We need a total of six more. There's five, six, and we'll take an extra for us to drink. There we go. Okay, so yeah, that'll get us a lawn, hopefully. <laughs> That's the idea, anyway. Alright, now, next thing we want to do is we want to... Um, do some f uh, algae generators and some flower spreaders. The problem with the algae generators is I don't have any, I still don't have quite any water here. Um, I could put them way over in the starter area where we have a lake forming, but it's just kind of a long ways to go. I suppose we could start with that and then, you know, move them back over here later once we, you know, have some lake action going on. Um... Let's see, so this requires, they both require super alloy. That's an eggplant and that was weird. My screen just tabbed out all on, all, all on its own for some reason. Grows underwater algae, generates biomass, place on a water surface. Okay. Well, we're going to be limited by... Well, not limited, but... Yes, we are going to be limited by fertilizer for that flower spreader, because we need algae to make it. Um, I have... How many do I have? I have three. Well, then that means we'll make three flower spreaders. How's that sound? I think that's a good idea. All right, so um, ba, 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 right here. So we need three super alloys and three magnesium and nine water. One, two, three. Uh, do I have any magnesium in overflow? I don't. Okay. One, two, three. And then nine water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Oh, uh, hold on a sec. Yeah, that's all we need. Okay. Uh, I thought, I, I guess I was thinking we had to also put the, you know, the flowers like the Lerma seed, those kinds of things in there too, but apparently we don't. All right, so let's see. We have our lawn going here. Maybe we'll do some flowers a little further out in front of the base. Um, so we'll do... That seems to have a wider spread than the grass. Don't really want to get over into that area. Alright. Oh, flowers on hostile planet. I just got an achievement. Very nice. That seems to have a pretty good um, radius there. Put that one there. And... Maybe what we'll do with the other one is we'll put it over here by our rocket launcher. Yeah, let's, let's pop it right down in this spot here. There we go. Okay. So we're well on our way, ladies and gentlemen, to generating biomass. Very cool. Now, 
And next we want to uh, we want to do some algae spreaders. Okay, so we're gonna need bioplastic nuggets and eggplant. And so let's go, where are we at? Let's go down this way. Let's just start with four of these because I'm not really sure how they're going to work or how much algae they're going to produce or anything like that. Uh, so we need four eggplant. Are these ready to go in here again? Uh, no, they're still growing. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll need four water, four mag, and four super alloys. Super alloys are right here. One, two, three, four. For magnesium. And for water. Okay. Um. We have another water here. Yeah, let's drink that. Uh, let's actually go eat something before we take off because we have to go back to the starter area. Because that's the only place we have a lake at the moment. Okay. Now the only place that I'm aware of that we have a lake at the moment. Look at all the, the green grass around the base. Oh, that's cool. Well, this lake is definitely bigger. Look at this. This is cool, man. <laughs> awesome. We can still mine stuff, right? Yeah. All right. That's pretty neat. Uh, here's a box we never completely got everything out of okay so um, I'm not I'm not exactly sure how these things work so let's go ahead and build the first one and I guess we just want it to Oh, I didn't even look at the power consumption on these, obviously. Um, it only uses 15.6 energy, so we must have been really right on the cusp. Okay, that's fine. I'm still going to set them down, and then we'll go back and make another power plant. So we'll put that one there, and I saw some more water over that way, too. Uh, let's put this one over on this side. We were gonna oh we were gonna do four, weren't we? Okay. That's right. Okay. Um I'm going to head back to the base and we need to make another power plant. I really like the way it looks underwater here. This is neat. I think the color of the ground should change though a little bit. Not be all red and dry looking like it was before. Maybe it will later. I don't know. See, this looks a little bit more like what you might expect underwater to look like. Yeah, yeah, I know I've got low power.
We've got a couple more spaces for ice. Might as well grab that. Don't know if we'll ever actually need it for anything anymore, but we'll grab it. Hey, while we're here, uh, you know what? I'm not following my rules. I was going to say, I'd go. let's go into that cave and get some sulfur, but um, I don't have an O2 bottle on me. We're back at the base. Let's do a save before the next crash. Um, so yeah, we gotta make another power plant. One thing I wanted to see was, you know what? I'm gonna put all this shit in here. I'll deal with it later. Uh, we do want to put one of those in our inventory. Um, does this tell us if we're what power we're in the negative? No, it doesn't. That'd be kind of useful. It does not. Okay. So, do we have enough stuff to make another tier two? No. Uh, yeah, no, we don't. Okay. Shit. We have enough to, uranium to make another tier two power plant. Can we... What if we make another rocket? I don't remember what all that requires. Yes, we could do this. Have it rain down your uranium. Well, I'll tell you what, though. Let's make a, a tier one right now, just so we can get the power back on, and then, then we'll work on maybe getting some more uranium. So we just need one rod for that. What else do we need? Uh, three supers. And uh, an extra water. Hopefully one tier one will do the trick just to get us back online here. Yes, it is. All right. Beautiful. That's a good thing. Look at all this grass, man. Freaking awesome. You're supposed to be doing flowers, but I guess they're not ready yet. All right, so we got the algae down. We got the grass down. Um, let's see, where's magnesium at? Right here. Just trying to decide what I actually want to do next. Can't do the biodome yet. The lake. Oh, we just got a tier two algae generator. This lake water collector. That might be interesting. What does that take to build? Bioplastic nuggets. Okay, do I have three more of those? Of course, we can make those. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. So let's um let's grab three of those. A mag, aluminum, and a super. Everybody's working, right? How much power does this thing use, though? 22.8. Okay, we, we have enough to make one of these. We don't really need to make this, but I, I want to kind of see, you know, how it works and how much water it 
gathers and that sort of thing. So we'll do it more for science than for necessity. I just wish my lakes were over here now. You know, um, I don't know how long it's going to take before we start seeing them. All right. Well, let's go back over to the other area. We'll put, pop this thing down. Um, and then I do have oxygen, right? Yeah. And then I think what we'll do is maybe we'll hit some caves and load up on sulfur, osmium, and whatever else we can find in those caves. Uh, they'll have iridium too, but again, iridium is not something we need a whole lot of at the moment. We have a big source of it both at the meteor crater and also at the vol volcano. Since we always come through here, maybe what we'll do is we'll put the... Wow, oh, look at all that stuff. Uh, we'll put the water thing down on this end of the lake. Okay, so let's see. Lake water collector. Does it... Looks like we can put it right on the shore there. Okay. So it only collects eight, but that's twice as much as the the other thing we have collects. Huh, okay, cool. All right, let's go hit a couple caves, like I said, and um, see if we can get some more sulfur. There is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, actually, if we go through that cave, we go into the a the actual sulfur biome. Um, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't matter where we get it. We just need to get it, right? We also need to go back into each one of the wrecks. Um, you know, now that we have the tier two deconstructor. Do I still have stuff over here? Can't remember. Okay, let's grab those Lirmas. And we'll grab that stuff. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Um No, that's not gonna work because we need to Okay, hold on. Put that shit back in there. <laughs> I'll grab all that later. Uh we're we're going after sulfur. <coughs> Okay, so <coughs> I am getting low on aluminum too. But this is the sulfur biome. I mean, I don't know if what its actual name is. That's oh, yeah. I mean, we'll grab aluminum if we see it. Uh, that's the other thing I really need to do is I need to start getting some of the map stuff going. So maybe we'll do that later. If we have time and resource the right resources for it. Okay, there's a sulfur. You know what would be cool is if there was some kind of and maybe there is, I don't know. Some kind of like um ore scanner thing where you could like do a, a, a scan and it would kind of pulse out and then it would highlight the different ores. Just you know, not permanently, but just temporarily. I think something like that would be cool and useful. So aluminum and sulfur. Wonder what would happen if we put an ore extractor over here. See, I just don't know if if we need like tier two to get stuff better than you know the basic ores. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, not really sure. All right, there was this cave here. Let's pop our head in here and see what's going on. I think there was another ice area 
uh, that we weren't, we'll grab some osmium too, that we weren't able to get to. Yeah. Um, yeah, shit. Okay, we're out of... That's still blocked. What? We're way beyond that. How come it's not... How come it's still there? I don't understand. We got way more heat going on than that. Okay. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a reason for it, just don't know what it is. We need to... We need to get out of here and get O2. He says as he continues to mine ore. Alright, let's go. Let's quit fucking around. We're gonna need uh, some cobalt to make an ore canister. I don't know if we have more in our little shack or not. Yeah, we do. All right, let's make t let's make two O twos, and I'm gonna drink this now. And let's top off our food and we'll take another water with us. Alright, I want to go back and finish, you know, making sure we went through that entire cave. But I don't know why that other ice wall hasn't melted because I'm sure we're way beyond five something you Kelvin thingies. So I don't know what the hell is going on with that. So let's just kind of fly along here. Yeah, I don't know. Is there anything up on top here? Nope. Yeah, at least we're getting a pretty decent supply of sulfur. One more slot. Okay, let's grab this osmium. Where does this go? Oh, that's that cave. Well, what do you know? All right, cool. Um, I don't have any room left, but I was gonna say there's more. There's more stuff in here. Um, that we could get with, uh, you know, our tier two deconstructor, but I, I want and need to take all of this stuff home. Uh, and that's a higher priority at the moment than getting more circuit boards. So we'll have to come back and do that at some other point in time. I just want to see if this thing's generated any water yet. Four. Okay, well, let's drink one. So yeah, that's going to be handy once we get water by our base. Just because it does twice as much water as the other thing does. Not that we've, you know, had a problem with a shortage of water, but still. Let's see if these algae things have made any algae yet. Well, I see greenery around them. Well, that's neat. Oh, do we... We must pick the algae directly. I thought it was would be stored up in here and we... Okay, I got gotcha. you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. But here again, we need to take all this stuff back with us, so... I'll have to come back and nab the algae later. Very cool, though. Okay, let's go home. I've got two O2s. I want to pop my head in this cave and see it, if it goes all the way through. Uh, that's good stuff, but... Okay, so yeah, that thingy of ice melted. 
Ooh, where does this come out at? All right, I know this cave. This is the first one we came into to get sulfur. Oh, nice. Okay, so the, the good thing about this is that's going to give us a nice shortcut to get back to the start area. We don't, we don't have to glitch over the over the mountains anymore. Oh, I love it. Okay, here, we got one space left. Let's grab... I mean, it's all good, but let's get the sulfur. Oh, that's fantastic, man. All right, cool. Um, was there another, another entrance or was it just that one? Let's pop up here and see if there's any hidden chests up on the ledge. I think we, maybe we actually came up here once before though. I don't remember. All right. That's fantastic. That's a legit shortcut, yo. Actually, though, you know, seeing seeing where it, uh, how far out it drops us back this way, that other one still might be the faster way to go. There's like a little puddle of water right there. I just don't know why we're not getting water down in these low areas yet. Maybe the way the game works is we don't see the water there until the waterfall itself comes. But that doesn't make sense because we have water in other places where there's no damn waterfall. So <laughs> I don't know, man. Whatever. Whatevs, man. Whatevs. All right. Save the game. That's a nice supply of sulfur that we grabbed. And let's put the Oz in here. And the aluminum can go in here. And the sulfur goes in here. Very nice. Almost a full thing of sulfur. It is a beautiful thing. Let's pick the food so we can get the next batch growing. Put the beans in there. And the other food goes in here. All right. Let's take a look at our index here, or our progress. So we're only 6% of the way there, but we haven't, we haven't, well, we've done biomass. I, I was gonna say, we haven't done anything with the other three to raise our indexes. Have our flowers, are our flowers growing flowers? Not yet. Okay. Well, what I think we should do is we should do another uranium rocket so we can get another tier two power plant going. And we should also do, uh, we should also do some of the map stuff now. So let's pop up here. All right. so. The map information displays points of interest, but that takes the super alloy rod. It also doesn't do anything for our index either. Displays drones on the mapping screen. I don't know what that even means exactly. I mean, does it create the drones or do we have to first make drones? It displays drones on the mapping screen. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh... Microchip compass it provides better geolocation to the mapping screen. I mean, maybe we should just go big or go home and start with this sucker. 
We don't have enough alloy, super alloy rods to do this one. Okay. Um, yeah, so we need we need um, a rocket, two microchip compasses, an Oz, and a super alloy rod. All right, so a rocket, the super alloy rod, which is the only one I have. Um, two microchip compasses, which is microchip construction filter compass. So four aluminums, two mags, two silicons. So we need one of those and one of those. Let's grab those water. Drink one now. Okay. Um, got the rocket that we got the two of those. I, I can't remember the other damn thing we needed. this guy. No, this guy. Oh, an Osmium. Okay. All right. That should be everything. So uh, my understanding is once we launch this, then we'll be able to use our map screen. Weird. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's pretty much out of sight. Now let's go look at our map screen. Oh, wow, look at that. That's cool. That's not what I was expecting. I mean, I wasn't sure what I was expecting. Oh, wow, that is neat. goes way the hell out there um oh what does this do that okay that zooms out the whole gotcha the whole shebang oh i see okay so if we if we launch a satellite four we can we can zoom out even further so we can only zoom out to the satellite three how about that okay so we have, um, <clears throat> this is the starter area. And we've hit this wreck, this wreck, that wreck. Um, what is that? Oh, that's our beacon, right? Okay. Uh, by our little shed. Okay. Um, let's go this way. I wish I could just drag this with the mouse, but you have to click it. Oh, wow, look at that. There's a bunch of water at the Stargate now. Interesting. So our route that we took when we... Here's the here's the lava biome. Is... When, you know, when we did our initial journey to the Stargate, we kind of went, we went through here. That's that weird black aluminum biome. This is kind of a blue biome, then off into the desert, and then over to here, and then over to here. So we just bit, did kind of a big loop. Of course, we don't have to do that now because um, I can, you know, kind of cheat my way over the mountain there. 
But yeah, that's really interesting to see the map like this. Now, this is no man's land here, I gather. One thing that, um... Uh, one thing that we should be looking for is... It doesn't give us any labels or anything. Okay, yeah, that's the crater with the big meteorite. We've been in there with all the iridium. And I think... This is the, I think this is the, um, the uh, sulfur area that we were just at, and I think this is the sandfalls here. I think. Or maybe, well, wait a second. This could be the sandfalls. No, I think this is. So whatever this area is over here uh, in the northwest, we haven't been in that area. So that's all new territory that we'll have to go explore. And we haven't um, we haven't been down in these canyons or in these cliffs. I I have been in those areas in my first playthrough. So I've been there, but I just haven't been there, you know, uh, in this playthrough. And there's quite a bit of stuff to loot here. I don't remember if there's anything significant down in here other than just a bunch of ores and stuff. And then it kind of looks like the rest of this is all no man's land, too. All right, cool. So as far as exploration goes, uh, we're going we're gonna to need to go check out these areas here. I'm pretty sure this is the Sandfalls. And just see what's what's going on over there. I don't see any wrecks over there, though. And we'll also have to uh, check out this area and this area. And then we will have been to every place on the map. I like this, though. This is really cool. Just to kind of see it, you know, from the bird's eye view here. What is that white thingy right there? that mean anything to us? Let's... Get it in the center and zoom in. Oh, maybe that's just a graphical glitch or something. Yeah, I don't know what that means. All right, cool. So does that just perpetually stay up now or does it only last for a little while? I, I don't know. I'm not really sure what the answer to that is. All right, I want to do a uranium launch uh, let's get some food and I need to go out and see what that requires I can't s I can't see that from this menu can I it's kind of sucks that you have to come all the way up here to, to look at that, but it's not a big deal. Okay, yeah, this one's easy. So, two supers, three cobalts, and a rocket engine. Two super, three cobalt, rocket engine. Um, can I see that from here? I don't even... Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, a seed spreader rocket. That's going to be useful. Yeah, but see, this doesn't tell you what it, what you need to actually make the the rocket. So I guess, yeah, we're just going to have to always run out there to do that. Not that big of a deal, but, you know, it'd be nice if we could tell that from in here. Okay, let's get some more uranium.
Okay, there's our first meteor right over here. Hopefully we can get to all the ores without the boulders being too badly in the way. Oh! That son of a bitch hit us! All I have to say to that is, ouch. That one landed on top of the, the hill there. There's some more. Yeah, I can't get to that back there. Too bad we couldn't like, um, you know, blast these rocks away or something. Or have some mechanism for clearing them out of the way. See some glowing here, but I think that's the main core. All right, let's go. Uh, uh, one landed on top of this shelf. Let's go grab that. Well, assuming we can get up there. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, that one I can clip through, or at least I could kind of partially clip through it. Yeah, we're gonna need some O2 here in a second. Nice view. So we got some there and some there. Look at our base from up here. That's kind of cool looking. Um, that might even be worthy of a screenshot. Let's see if we can get, get a little more in the center here. Nice. Okay. Let's go back down and make another O2 bottle, or, or just grab another O2 bottle. Heck, maybe we'll grab two. Okay, that's enough to make a, the first rod. I think I have one already. Uh, uranium is in here. Um, wait a second. Did I not just make a uranium rod? Maybe I didn't have one in there. I thought I did. I'm losing my mind. There we go. Okay, so that gives us enough to make a tier two nuclear plant. But of course, let's go grab the rest of the rest of it too. I'm. I don't know how long that stuff sticks around, but. I'm going to assume that it doesn't stick around forever, and therefore we want to make sure and go grab it. see if there's any more green glowing thingies not really seeing anything else okay did we have any more that landed further out I think this is just part of the the terrain here we do have a chest 
Oh wow, look at the bean seeds. Jeez, man. If I only would have known these were over here. Back in the early game when we were like desperately struggling for food. That would have been awesome. Okay. Let's go back. It's funny how that meteor, its debris shows, but the cliff face that it's on hasn't rendered in. Now it did. Oh, here we go. This is another one. Nice. Oh, you know what? We need to make the tier three agility boots. Oh, there we go. Tier four drill, baby. Nice. Okay, I think we I think we've got everything from there. Yeah, I I don't think it, they would have landed this far out. Oh, is that water over there? No, I think that's probably a a texture issue. Yeah. Okay. I think that's probably all we're going to get. I'm just going to look around here one last time to see if I maybe missed a piece. Yep, look at that. The question is, though, can we get to him? Yes. That was a lot. Uh, that one... That one, not so much. It's not from that side. See, I can't, I can't get in there. That sucks. Uh, what about, let's see the problem is, what if I get myself stuck in there? Uh, yeah, I can't get down there anyway. All right, well, if I remember, I'll pop my head back up here and after the debris clears and see if it's potentially still there. Alrighty, um, can we make one more rod? We certainly can. And we actually can make another one. I don't know, I, I can't remember if we've used uranium straight up for anything other than rods. <coughs> so I'm just gonna turn them all into rods for now. Or yeah, as many more as I can anyway. All right, so for the bean seeds, uh, I don't really need to plant any more beans right now, so I think we'll just um, put those in storage. Okay, yeah, we'll, ma we'll make this later once we can start making fertilizer. And um, I want to make this. So three rods, an alloy, explosive, and two waters. Three rods, a super, uh, three waters, and we'll make the explosive in our bio lab. Uh, which we're going to need two sulfurs and one iridium for. Should be enough, yep, to make all that. The game seems to be a little more stable now. I wonder if turning on vertical sync uh, was the culprit there. 
Well, can't really tell though unless you give it enough time. All right, more power. We got the power. We got the power. No water down there yet. Okay, so we're up to 336 kilowatts of available, excuse me, of available power. That is fantastic. Any chance we can do these now? You bastard. <laughs> uh, a, mach a machine optimizer. What is that? Find and insert fuses into this to boost the performance. Oh, right. That's that's the those oxygen boost things we found. Interesting. So I'm assuming at some point we'll be able to make the fuses too? Uh, miscellaneous. These things. Oxygen multiplier fuse. All right. Well, guys, we need to wrap up this episode. So what we'll do in the next episode is... Uh, we'll play around with this. <coughs> we'll run back to the lake and grab some algaes um, so that we can make, make some algae or, and start making some of the other stuff that that requires. Um, this, that's actually doable. So maybe we'll throw down um, a drill, a tier four drill or three, uh, also in the next episode. And then we'll kind of just go from there and see where we're at. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. Catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.